you guys. Travis Vance from Addictive RC built me a brand new rift cage. I want you to look at this thing. It is immaculate. I'm going to show it to you on the table and we're going to probably make it not immaculate. <laughs> Let's get to that table. Check this thing out, man. Full welded steel. This thing, it is beautiful. There is Vitavon all over this thing. And one of the things I really like about this is there's nothing in the way to get full compression up front. And if I go to uh, shorter shocks, I could get more, but it doesn't need it. Watch this right here. Look at that. Look at how low this thing goes. Tons of travel. Beautiful. The design of this being rolled up at the top kind of matches my SCX6 bouncer, which he also built for me. And it allows you to kind of throttle this thing and whip it back on its tires. So that's always a nice thing. It's got four wheel steering and I do have my GT5 set up specifically for this. I've ran a lot of different tires and for my area doing what I'm about to do, the stock tires are fine. It has a Castle Mamba X ESE GT5 like I just mentioned, a Holmes 2100 kV Polar Pro and a 4S battery. Reef's raw 500 servos at both ends. Just look at the top of the cage on this thing. Look at the angles we got right here. It's no longer straight up, guys. Woo! We got a little bit of angle there, and I like that. And now it's time to see if this thing flies. I'm going to drive it nice and gently. Man, that thing is beautiful. Look at that. Now the shocks. I actually got the shocks from Luma Dave. They are box stock shocks. I have not adjusted the oil or anything. They are exactly what they are. First jump, oh, it's a bouncy jump. But there is no transition to this at all. Told you guys I was gonna drive nice and easy, right? Man, this thing is like a big green bug huh. nice it lands beautiful nice wow it absorbs everything beautifully holy cow I'm happy with it Wow. And no, I'm not going across that. Got to set my trims, get my steering back under control here. Yeah. Okay, we're good. If it has enough to clear this right here, I might mess around with the big ramp, but I don't think it has enough juice to actually clear the ramp. Yep, certainly cleared that. Man, this thing is handling so good out here. The suspension being able to absorb everything is awesome. Okay, let's mess around with the ramp. Now, since this has been down the whole time, I've built race camp which does phenomenal. So I kind of wonder which one would win because this thing runs great. I think this is faster though. I think I've got more speed on this one. Yeah, nice. Now, if I'm gonna hit this, if I'm gonna hit this, I've got to I got to be careful here. All right, I'm up on it. I'm up on it. Nice. Let's see if I can bring this down any better than what I was able to do with the six. Yes, I was. Oh boy. So I'm going to try to hit this. I hope I got enough light that the slow mo is actually good because I'm probably only going to hit it once. And I hope I hit it straight.
Oh, it made it. That was a hard hit though. That just tested everything. I mean, that tested everything right there. Um, well, we're good. Ha! Okay, the slow-mo wasn't so hot there. But I'm going to do it one more time and hopefully I'll land on the dirt. But it had enough. It had enough juice to make that. I just got to make sure I flat land and I know it'll be okay, right? That was absolutely the most perfect. See how soft it landed? I'm done. I'm not hitting it anymore. Holy cow. That was beautiful. It landed on the dirt, on the down ramp. It was like a, like a cloud of, of uh, um, well, I'm trying not to be uh, rude, but like a cloud of thingies. Let me just say that. This thing jumps great. Holy moly, moly, shamoly, guacamole. Wow, I gotta put this up against base camp. I meant race camp. This thing is nice. I did break something. The, I thought I noticed the front tires jiggling. I broke this right here off my battery mount. So it's actually down like on the drive shaft. So uh, I guess this run is over. I'll work on getting that mounted better and get the receiver put in there correctly. But hey, this thing did it, man. It did it. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. That's awesome. This thing is incredible. The chassis work is awesome. It performs great. When I jumped, that was probably about 20 feet up, okay? The top of the ramp is about eight foot. And then you get, you've got to go at least another eight foot to clear the top of that, the top deck. Because you go up like this right here. You gotta get a little bit out there, you know? But when I flat landed this thing, it knocked my battery thing loose, my little battery tray loose knocked the receiver loose. It also pushed the shock caps on the back. The fronts were actually okay, but on the back, it pushed the uh, spring retainers past the rod end all the way to the ball. So yeah, it pushed the uh, spring retainers all the way to the balls. It hit so hard. <laughs> this chassis is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna get all this taken care of and get this thing back out, because uh, wow. Um, all I got to say is wow. Travis Vance, Addictive RC. If you guys want a chassis, uh, the Rift, the SCX6, or something special, that's the guy to go to, uh, without a doubt. Guys, check that description. Use those links. Hit that subscribe. Ring that bell. And you know what? You guys have a great day because I'm going to. I'm going to go drive this thing again. I might even drive it off camera. <laughs> You'll find out. Guys, you made it to the end. This is awesome. Thank you so much. You guys making it to the end of the video it means so much to me. Uh, I mean, for real. Consider joining, becoming a member for just $2 a month. That's the cheapest way to go. In the description are affiliate links, A, B, and E, B, Amazon. You guys know all the, all the stuff on that. Um, but yeah, guys, it means a lot that you're here and you're listening to this right now. And I want you to have a great day.